this is the best machine on the market that money can buy. Mark Bess's machines do almost all of the work at the textile company that he runs in Conover. This machine here is uh, knitting a sock right now, compression sock, a knee high. And it's a far cry from his early days in the textile industry. Been in it for 35 years. Everything in the 80s and 90s was manual. You have to do everything. He worked for multiple companies, only to be laid off multiple times. They just moved overseas. They moved to Mexico, Honduras, China. His last stop was in Burlington, working for a huge hosiery company called Gold Toe. Bess was one of about 1,200 employees. One of the best jobs I ever had, and um, they closed down, they moved to Mexico. We shipped every machine down there, 1,200 machines. Put it all down there, we trained all the people, got them all going. As Soon as we got them going there, they laid us all off. Bess came back to his home in Catawba County and found an opportunity with a startup called U Apparel, making medical compression socks. It's been one of the best moves I've ever made in my life. The company got help from a business incubator called the Manufacturing Solutions Center. Our basic mission is to create jobs here in the U.S. The MSC gave you apparel building space and helped it implement automation. People talk about, you know, well, it's advanced manufacturing. Well, if you're in business today, you better be advanced manufacturing. I don't know of hardly any industry that is not advanced. They played a big role. We would not be in business if it wasn't for them. Bess is one of only two full-time employees here because these robots sew the socks. You have the touch screens here. Everything here is like an iPad. Bess programs the robot, and it makes the sock without ever being touched by a human hand. It would take double the people with the older machine to do what this one machine here does. This machine here will make about three socks to one sock of the old machine. And so it takes out a whole department so we can cut labor out to make it competitive with China and Mexico. Bess is fighting Mexico and China's cheap labor with less labor. We can do more with less, but we have to have skilled labor. It's North Carolina versus the world, and, and that's why you have to look at it now. We have to be global and be able to compete globally to make it work.